Uh, hello, my name is Zachary Kelly. This is the recording for the presentation for uh, History um, Western Civ. This is, uh, I'll be giving a presentation on the Braggart Soldier. Um, <clears throat> the Braggart Soldier is a rather old uh, comedy dating back to approximately the 3rd century BC. That would be about 300 BC. Uh, this comedy was a breath of air uh, for the Roman Empire because it was very popular. Um, it was one of the first theatrical plays to be focused on making people laugh rather than making them cry, like the great tra tragedies that were common during the time. Um, though this is not qualified as an epic, many of the other stories of the times uh, were epics because um, the differences, they created an entirely new category of, of art. Um, but uh, to kind of begin, we should probably understand what a comedy is. Uh, a comedy is defined by the Britannica as a, a type of drama or other art form as the chief executive of which it is to amuse. Um, that is exactly what this does. This play it kind of drives the uh, audience through this, this series of this really boastful um, soldier and gets him, uh, he's walking through the street and he, he has, his, uh, has a servant with him and he sees a pretty girl and he really wants to marry that pretty girl. And, yeah, but in order to kind of gain his freedom and play off the boastfulness of his master, the servant sees an opportunity to get free, and uh, he plays a trick on him with that girl uh, who's end up who's married. Um, to kind of back up a little bit, uh, comedy derives from the Greek word komos, which means to uh, to revel. Not surprisingly, this is uh, the opposite of a tragedy, um, which I will move on from, but. Instead of striving for perfection, comedy celebrates failure and imperfection, which is exactly what um, our actors, uh, hard to pronounce this, but Paleestrio, uh, which is the servant of Pergo, Pergo Polanices, um, you know, Paleestrio, uh, he... He kind of plays on it. He plays on the uh, imperfections of his master who thinks he's perfect. Um, I really want to make this comparison. Uh, when I read this, I kept thinking of the story from Beauty and the Beast of Gaston and LeFou. Um, LeFou, though, he's not a servant of Gaston. Gaston uh, is this big, just, I'm a soldier, I'm a hunter, I can shoot anything, I can do anything better than you kind of personality. And then LeFou is kind of like Paleestrio where he's you know, okay, you're, you're a master, I'm lesser than you, but, um, kind of like a switch in the story, Peleestra plays a trick on him, uh, and Pergo Polynices, uh, gets embarrassed at the end of the story, and the whole time the audience is seeing this from a third person perspective, almost like a movie, well, that's, that's how theater works, and that's the, that's the beauty of theater. Um, this devious plot, which includes the help of uh, the two neighbors, um, you know, causes a bit of laughter for the audience. It, you know, it's really kind of the first, it's a really new, fresh take on theater for the time. People, you know, obviously I'm sure there were jokes for thousands of years, but this was the first time jokes were presented in a very com uh, comical theater production. Um, I wanted to mention that uh, I, th I, from the research that I did, um, Shakespeare did a lot of his, he kind of got his, his base, his kernel of, you know, co uh, comedic passion for his theatrical plays from this and other uh, comedies like this, uh, like the Braggart Soldier. Um, and so being the kind of the first for the entire comedy genre of theater, of comedy genre of art, uh, I think it's in a very important story. And especially the fact it's from 300 BC, it really shows um, I, can't, I think a level of, you know, importance, you know, this is uh, 2,300 years old and it's still kind of a relatable story. Like, I'm surprised they haven't made a movie off of this. Um, if they have, I haven't seen it and I couldn't find one. Um, so I'm going to continue. Uh... One thing I want to also mention, why this kind of relates to modern, uh, modern, I'll say, theater, but even though Disney's not a theater, the uh, Beauty and the Beast isn't theater, it's a play, it, it relates to it because um, LeFou is kind of like this parasitic role on uh, Gaston the same way that Paleestro is on Pergo Polynices. 
Uh, you know, he to, in order to get food, he tells him that he's this great soldier and he's strong, and then he gets some little food and he gets comfort and gets protection and gets told he's okay. Um, so uh, I, you know, I just want to say that I think this is arguably one of the best best um, kind of stories of its time, up there with you know Homer's Odyssey or the Epic of Gilgamesh. Um, but uh, you know, I, I think that though this kind of started the comedy uh, genre, I would actually look forward to seeing this as a movie. So uh, I hope this was a sufficient presentation for my final. Thank you.